What's up guys, Gaming Josh HP here bringing you a Wig 2 review part 2 and if you haven't, what I'll probably do, I'll probably link um, part 1 that's on my other channel um, in the description as this is my new channel to you guys because um, this is my reviewing channel and I will be getting a better camera and um, obviously then I'll be getting other stuff as well because um, so I'll be getting a HD quality camera not the webcam that I've got here and yeah, so I'm just going to talk to you guys about um, the two games today and some transfer news because there has been quite, like, well, not quite a bit, but quite a big transfer story. So what I'm going to be doing is going to go into the predictions and, well, what my predictions and the results are. So the predictions will be up here and the results will be up here. And also if you subscribe up here, it will be quite cool. So yeah, um... So the first game was Stoke versus Arsenal. I predicted this was going to be a 2-1 win for Stoke. Um, actually ended in a 0-0 draw. It was quite a boring game until the last five minutes I watched it. Um, again, created chances. Um, uh, Stoke um, should have had a player sent off. Andy Wilkinson. Um, it was a blatant handball in the box. It should have been a penalty. Um, what he'd done, he tried to dive in front of the ball. But um, what happened was he, um, because also the shot just hit his hand and it should have been a stone cold penalty but the referee obviously didn't see that and um, yes yeah, so that was, that was just a nil nil. Uh, I predicted the goal scorers were going to be Podolski, Crouch and Hoof. Um, if that Andy Wilkerson did get in the way of that shot it would have been Podolski. Crouch and Hoof did come close in the second half as well though. So um, yes yeah, so obviously getting no points on that because nobody scored and yeah and <laughs> I predicted for a goal scoring match but the next match was Manchester City versus Liverpool um, it was a fantastic game this was everybody was tweeting on Twitter it was really good um, Manchester City um, was just playing rubbish for the champions they, they've done they've started such a poor season this year um, you know, coming from behind against newly promoted Southampton in week one, and then they have to again come from behind um, against Liverpool twice to draw. Because I predicted that the Liverpool would win three two, um, so I was really close because Manchester City um, drew with Liverpool two two. Um, Liverpool was so close, and the Carroll once he came on, you could see that they wouldn't. If there was like an extra five minutes, they would Liverpool were definitely going to score with Andy Carroll on the pitch. Um, Raheem Sterling, he was out fantastic and definitely a prospect for the future. Um, you know, great, great player. Um, that's what um, Liverpool were missing out on the wings. Like, what, like if he if he play him out on the wing, that'd be much better for Liverpool because they have a bit of wit and a bit of pace. Um, but he does make a few um, like kid mistakes if you want to say it um like by pushing people over challenging for the ball um like like wanting it too much he wants it to happen too much and the only problem with him is a bit too small as well i know i know i'm being saying problems but he's a really good player um what what it is like what's i can't i don't know who it is but somebody swang the ball over to the over the other side of the pitch and obviously the ball bounced and it bounced so high that it went over him so and he tried to keep it in but he couldn't so that was that's another downside to him but he was a, he was a good player in that game so they as, as i said they did drew 2-2 two -two with um, manchester city the goal scorers was skirtle with an absolute bullet header um really good finish from martin skirtle his corner whipped in which went boof like that. It was a fantastic header and then um so then there were one nil what um, Lucas had to go off in like the fourth minute of the match because he had he picked up an injury in um like the pre like not the preview um the warm up and then he like he was obviously feeling it and he had to get subbed off and then John Joe Shelby came on for him and then so from then on it was like really um he, like hotly contested a lot of players fouled in each other and all that kind of stuff you know it was, it was like a rivalry match. Um, but then City did get Yaya Torre on the score sheet. I actually can't remember that much of that goal. I think it was like, yeah, I know, I remember it. The cross got whipped in by somebody. Um, Reina should have got there and punched it. It was a bit like the Gia saga on yesterday. 
and um, what happened? Kelly obviously fought the kid and punch out. It fell to his um, like legs off his knees, and um, he, he he obviously it, the ball fell down, and the Ayatollah just knocked it in. And that was one one for the match. Um, not really a good fit. You know, it wasn't really um, a good goal, but you know that goals a goal, I guess, for the City. Um, and then um, pretty much straight away, Liverpool went on the attack. And um, they got a free kick, and Luis Suarez, honestly, best free kick I've seen for a long time. It was probably like best free kicks I've seen that Ronaldo won against Portsmouth. It was such a good free kick. The amount of curl that he had to get right past the wall, and it it was a low, it wasn't low low, but it was it was pretty low. So the keeper obviously couldn't get to it. Um, it was placed down in the bottom corner. Luis Suarez grabbing the lead for um, Liverpool and then what happened next was um, literally with I think it was about the 75th minute so something like that um, uh, Martin Skirtle he had two Man City players on him he tried to pass it back to um, Rayner but Tevez was there to intercept it and what happened was literally Tevez got the ball Rayner came out he dribbled it round the keeper and just slotted it in and that was Tevez's 100th goal in English football. So he scored 100 goals for um, like between his time at West Ham, then Man United, and then Man City. So, um, yeah, so that was it. And then um, a lot of efforts were so close. Um, trying to remember a couple. Tevez hit the post in the first half. I don't know how the hell that did not go in. Um, it was literally, he, he was like such a tight angle. He hit it. And then it like hit the first post and then it hit the second post and it just bounced out. And then Rainer picked it up. So um so that was really close as well. So and then there was other efforts like John Joe Selby and um what's his name? New signing Welsh, Joe Allen, that's it. Forgetting people's names. Um he had a really good striking the amount of decent passing Joe Allen does is a great signing for Liverpool as they um need to obviously strengthen up the midfield but they have done that with um sacking a long and well, like a season long line but that's going to be pretty um i don't i don't know do, i wouldn't say it's a bad investment but it's not a really good investment because they can't get him on a permanent they're not going to be able to reload him so they're just going to pay his wages and that's it and he's going to get some football and he's going to go off to um real madrid again i don't know why real madrid signed so many centre midfielders because they literally just got too many. Nuri Sahin at Borussia Dortmund was Borussia Dortmund's best player by far. And obviously he went to Real Madrid and he hasn't got ring anywhere at Real Madrid in their first team. So um so yes so that enough of me writing on about Liverpool game. Um I predicted that the goal scorers would be Barini, Lucas, Suarez, Tevez and Nasri. Well I've got two of them right, Suarez and Tevez. Obviously Lucas couldn't score because he just went off the pitch in four minutes. Um, Barini came really close to scoring and Nasri just was terrible in that match and he came nowhere near scoring. I think Lucas came closest to scoring in Nasri but so yeah so that has been my um well that was my predictions and the results. Um later at the end of the video there should be like a league table down here. And the amount of points should be up around like in the middle or somewhere. But um the last story or well, last thing of this video. Um, Scott Sinclair has confirmed the move to uh, Manchester City instead of Manchester City. Um, a £6.2 million um, pound deal. Of all teams, I don't know why he's gone to Manchester City. He's such a good prospect. One, he stay at Swansea for, I'll say, one or two more years. He'll be able to, like, he would be then in a first team, like a team like Aston Villa or a team like Sunderland. You know, one of those mid-table teams because that's where I think he should be at. He shouldn't be at Manchester City because they're not going to play him. He's just going to be a bench warmer like Adam Johnson was. Then he's going to move on a couple of years down the line because that's what Adam Johnson done. And he's going to get game time at some point. And I was praising for that. Believe in Man City, you know. He's got his Premier League winners medal and he was just gone home to Sunderland. So, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe if you're new. I'm pretty pretty new of saying that because you know I don't really ask for um like those type of subscribers but we're on four subscribers I'm trying to get more people from the other channel to come over so um thanks for watching guys like and subscribe follow me on twitter at gaming
Dee, and I'll catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.